Hi, welcome to a, another episode of Homebrew, the partial mash way. You know, it comes to my, <laughs> it occurs to me, I've never said my name in any of my videos, nobody knows my name. Um, I guess it's not that important, but I'm Wyatt. Um, today, we're gonna be doing something a little different. As you can see, we are outside um, for a couple reasons. One, uh, I think winter's finally over in Nebraska. We've got a solid week of 60 plus weather. Boy, that's making a lot of noise. Um, so yeah, I thought, what what the heck, change the setting. So now we're outside doing this. Um, and the other reason is because um, today I'm going to be uh, testing my the two beers that I bottled that I'm gonna be using for a brew, uh, in an upcoming beer trade. Well, when I took both of them, this is the Bach U, which I've tasted before, but when I took both of them from the uh, the, the area that I, that I do my uh, fermenting and also it, for where I put bottles for natural carbonation, I couldn't help but notice I had some crossin at the, uh, just above, this, I think it's crossin just above the, uh, the beer. It made me nervous, it made me wonder, you know, I, I, what's going on there? I've never noticed it before. I mean, granted, it's been a few years since I bottled, but I did a quick, some quick uh, uh, online uh, research. I ran across some threads that said, well, you possibly have an infection. So, with that in mind, I said, well, you know, let's do this and let's do it outside. That way, in case these are bottle bombs that, uh, you know, I don't, want to I don't want that mess in my house. I can just lean this this way, cork it. If it decides to bottle bomb, it's gonna go in my backyard. Without uh, prolonging this any further, let's crack open a bottle of Baku and see what we got. Oh, no bottle, bottle bomb. It definitely made a, wow, that's not coming off there. There we go. It made this, you know, that you expect to hear, so it's definitely carbonated. Let's go ahead and see how well it's carbonated. Wow, that, uh, that's disappointing. That, uh, that's very lightly carbonated. I mean, it's got some, yeah. Now remember another thing too is I, uh, for the first time ever I use, I think they call them fizz tabs or fizz drops. They look like uh, hard candies. Yeah, that just, that just barely got carbonated. Oh, it tastes like Baku. Just like uh, my other tasting video, so I'm not gonna bother going into great detail. Um, I don't know if you can make this out, it is lacing. It's got some decent lace. I mean, it just doesn't have much of a head to it. It's definitely carbonated. I can feel, I can, you know, I can taste it and tell that it's got, a, it's got that little bit of carbonation. That is a malty beer. Although the more I've been drinking it, because I have been drinking it off the keg, the more I've been drinking it, the more I've been liking it. Um, but yeah. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and drink this one up and then when I come back, um, when I pick this back up, we're going to be doing the same thing with, uh, that's right, we named it Mexican Hop Dance. Uh, that's that jalapeno IPA. Um, so yeah, so this would, this no bottle bomb, so that's good. I would say, will say the carbonation was fairly light, but you know, that's what you kind of get when you don't do a, when you don't pa uh, batch prime, but you know, Last time I did that, uh, I couldn't even tell you uh, what the uh, ratio is of uh, corn sugar or sugar to uh, five gallons because it's been so long since I've even uh, I've bottled or batch primed. So, anywho, yeah, when I come back, we'll be trying Mexican hop dance, and that'll be a first tasting too. So, can't wait for that one. See you in a little bit. Okay, well, I finished off the. Uh, Baku. Yeah, like I said, I'm really starting to like that. So now, Mexican hop dance. Here we go. This is a totally experimental. Again, back outside, just in case it decides to be a bottle bomb. Here we go. Let's cross our fingers. Oh, no bottle bomb. And not really an indication that it's carbonated. Might have jumped the gun on this. And get that fizz. 
Yep. Ah, she's not carbonated at all. I did notice the cap was slightly askew on it, which makes me wonder if I didn't have a good seal on that cap. God, the color is awful. Jesus. I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> Smell the hops. I even think I smell a little bit of the pepper. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's not any good. I think I'm going to wait a little while longer on that one. That is definitely a weird taste. Well, you know, live and learn. Shit. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. Um, I mean, obviously I didn't finish it. You know, sometimes it's hit and miss. I tell you what it, this makes me want to do is it makes me want to go ahead and switch out switch out kegs downstairs and pour a glass because it should be carved. I know the stuff in the keg should be carved. It's been on 12 pounds for two weeks. In fact, you know what? I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna come back and see if uh, what's in the keg, carbonated, you know, is any better. Cause that, I mean, I don't know. Neither the color was off. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you this much. Um, if that's what the uh, the bottles are like, because I'll probably try it again another week. If that's what the bottles are like in another week, because it's only been naturally carved, and like I said, that 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 cap didn't look like it was aligned properly. Um, but if that's what uh, if that's what it tastes like in another week, I'm not going to be sending that off for a bottle trade. Um, or I'm going to have to figure out how to bottle off of my keg. I don't want to spend any money on it, but I might have to. I um, might have to get a counter pressure filler. And it just means that I won't be able to brew one more time so I can afford that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to go downstairs real quick, switch out the lines, and uh, see what... Uh, this beer tastes like when it's fully carved and yeah so i'm gonna go do that and then i'll be right back for those with those results okay so we're back um as you can see i mean i filled this glass as you can see i've i've drank quite a bit of it of this glass and i have to say that uh i like it better carbonated yeah um it's good i like it it's different it's definitely different. Um, the, the jalapenos are way more pronounced than I thought they would be. Um, after tasting it, after sec or tasting it from after secondary before I bottled and kegged it. Um, this is from the keg. Uh, I switched my lines out real quick so I could pour a carbonated sample because, you know, I mean, I've got over four gallons in a keg i want to know if i'm wasting my time wasting co2 continuing to carb it um and i will say that with carbonation it's a lot better it's amazing what carbonation can do for some beers um i'm digging it it's not something that you can not, it's not something that you would want to sit down and drink a lot of because i'm feeling it 
I mean, I'm, you can see, you know, I filled this glass. I filled the glass. You can see how much I have left and I'm feeling it. Um, I mean, it was 7%. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. It's an interesting blend. I'm hoping, the, I'm hoping in a week now I will pull out another bottle and uh, try it. I'm hoping it tastes this good. If it tastes this good, if it tastes like this, I'm gonna send it off to uh, on that bottle trade, and you know, leave myself open to criticism because I could see this being a beer that not everybody likes, or I should say, I could see this being a beer that most people don't like. But I don't care. I'm gonna throw caution in the wind. I like it, and I'm not just saying it because it's mine. I mean, yeah, I'm probably biased, but. I, I genuinely like it, but I like jalapenos and I like hops. So I kind of knew going into it, you know, worst case scenario, unless it was just wretched awful, I was gonna like it. Um, so yeah, it's good. Uh, this is definitely a, you know, maybe have one, have two. And if you still feel like drinking beer, switch to something else, because after three, <laughs> you're going to be drunk. I mean, I like I said, I've only had this much of one, and I can feel it. I can feel it. That is interesting, though. Um, it's going to take me a while to get through this keg. It's going to take me a while. Because there's no way I can sit down and drink even a six pack of this, so to speak. Because I'm already good and buzzed. Ugh. Very dry. Mouth drying. Ugh. I like it. I like it. So hopefully the bottles turn out. Um, I'm gonna try them again in a week. Probably won't video bother videotaping that. Um, I kind of feel like I've done the taste test or the tasting of this. Didn't mean to. It was more about the bottle bombs, which, by the way, obviously uh, I, they weren't bottle bombs. Thank goodness, because uh, that would have been a first for me. Never had any bottle bombs. I like to think I'm pretty good at uh, cleaning and sanitary. That I have good cleaning and sanitary practices but uh yeah so that's it um i've got some stuff in the stuff in the works um i got uh, tagged in something today um i got tagged i'm going to be doing a video probably tomorrow probably tomorrow um where i list my top five um the only reason that uh, i'm not doing it right now is because this this time was slated for this and because i don't I actually don't have anything in my refrigerator right now, and I thought I'd go ahead and have the beers that uh, are in the, my top five ro in rotation on hand. So that'll I'll probably do that tomorrow, which means it should either be up tomorrow or it'll be up, uh, what is today, Wednesday? Or it'll either be up uh, Thursday night or it'll be up Friday morning, one or the other. It just depends on how much time I have. Um, yeah, that's it. I got nothing else. So Mexican hop dance carbonated it's a winner all right well we'll see you guys later this is homebrew the partial mash way also known as wyatt signing out cheers